Oh my god, is that Vlad teaching how to count? That is so weird! Oh my god, that's so funny, I've never seen that before! What's up guys, it's Sola Marlin. Today we're back with our Legacy Challenge. This is episode 9, I believe. So in the last episode, we discovered the jungle. We, you know, just walked around, excavated some stuff. We learned that he can also excavate some stuff, which is like gorgeous and amazing. So what is in his inventory that we can give it to mom? Not really much. We found a literally chaos relic, which like, I don't know what it does, but you know, we might just give it to mom. She found a lot of stuff which is like great we found a jet which is like very rare that's amazing she found some rose quartz you know we harvested some stuff we found some fossils and stuff so we are doing great so as i said in the last episode uh, we discovered everything other than here so let's just go ahead let's spend like no time and let's clear the path with miss shady we can do it. I mean, it's so fun that you can just like, go through here. Oh, vacation's ending. There's one day left of this vacation. I'm not thinking about it. But yeah, can't really go through there. Maybe just let mom open this up real quick because your needs are also getting really, really bad ish. Wild is calling wild. Not the time, honey. It is not the time. Okay. Matilda is blazing a trail through the thick jungle when she stumbles upon a campsite. It's a pretty remote location and she doesn't see anyone nearby. But she's not sure if it's actually been abundant. So we can avoid it or we can quietly look around or arm stuff with insulation powder. Didn't we just buy the insulation powder? I think he has it again. I'm pretty sure I, we bought the insulation powder though. Let's just avoid the camp. So I'm not really doing it. She has like no fitness level, I don't think. So Matilda decides it would be best to walk around the campsite to avoid it completely as she passes by. A crazy looking son jumps out of the jungle and chases her for a short while. Matilda is pretty still shook up by this strange encounter. I mean, I would be too. That sounds very weird. Okay, my boy, you also come here. She's like very spooked. She's like, what the hell was that? What the actual freak was that? But guys, we are here. This looks gorgeous. Also not very big, but looks gorgeous. So we used to be there, if you remember, like in two or three episodes before we were up there. And now we're on this like gorgeous place. I wish you could just swim here. That looks so good. Is this a plant? No, it's just a part of it. There's some... Nice little wings. We have gorgeous butterflies and everything that looks great. Oh, you can also fish over here. Can you fish? You can go fishing. Yeah, just go fish. That sounds great. Oh, we have a crocodile. Okay, honey, maybe be careful around the crocodile because that looks kind of dangerous. But you can fish from this side. There's like lots of nice fishes. Very nice fishes. So you can do that and mom, can you come and open this treasure chest for me real quick? My goodness, look at this. That looks so gorgeous. It's indeed such a pretty world for sure. Okay, we acquired the fishing skill. That is great. We reach mental level three. That is great. Mom can also come and dig some piles. She likes pessimistic sims? Who is pessimistic around you? No. Don't like pessim- I mean, there's nothing wrong being pessimistic, but yeah. Let's dig some here as well. So Matilda found some wondrous items in the treasure chest and get the Omskin gods have bestowed a blessing upon her. That's so nice of them. She took an artifact and some adventure gear and take them in her inventory, so... What did we get? We got a plasma bait and we also got an omiskin vase. That is good. The spirit of Balam Palso has blessed Matilda with the blessing of the budding wallflower. Will, will this introduction to a new random scene lead to a great friendship, a steamy romance, bitter rivalry, or will it simply fade away? 
So that means that we can kind of like find our soulmate and stuff. That sounds amazing. Or we can just like, you know, get to know someone better as a friend. It is great. We also found some gold. Oh my goodness gracious. There's another dick pile over here. Kind of don't need to do anything else. Ooh, that was a big fish. What, what the hell? Tambaqui? That's, that's eight, almost nine kilo? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh, a swarm of bees descending on Matilda, but she has a plan. Okay, good job. She's just standing very still, so they just... <laughs> Leave it be okay. Our son is so good at this. Oh my god, see that crocodile is kind of killing my wipe. TBH, but yeah. Alright, you can just stop that. We can just go to lodge real quickly. Or she also she's already going to the lodge. There's like two crocodiles, there's another crocodile here. So guys, that means that we explored all the jungle, we explored everywhere, we explored the temple, we explored this lovely area, which is great. We explored even more here, and yeah, I feel like we did our best, we did it all. This looks also so beautiful, like look at it. Oh my god, you can just take like a screenshot at it and just like stare at it every day. Okay, everybody is back. Mom needs to use the bathroom real quickly. You can just do that. Just use the bathroom and wash your hands. And we can just get the leftovers real quickly. I don't think they need much stuff, so yeah. You can also do the same. Wash your hands and then, you know, use the bathroom. And after that, you can get some leftovers. And when we go home, we can order his pizza because that sounds like a nice plan as well. Checking on Caleb. I hope you had some nice time today. Because, you know, that was my dream to bring my son here. I'm so happy that you're here and I love you so much. But I will go to bed right now. So I will see you tomorrow morning. And she's like, of course, mom. I will also go to bed after this. I love you so much. And thank you for bringing me here. And she's like, of course. Of course. Okay. Okay, she's awake. She wants to use the bathroom real quickly. She also wants to leave a note for someone else. You can just do that. There's some stuff to dig around. So maybe you can do that, Matilda, real, real quickly. We found some stream. And now it is winter. Oh my goodness. Okay. So she also found an emerald, that sounds great. Let's use the bathroom and then let's brush our teeth real, real quickly. Mom is excavating some stuff. And yeah, I think this is our last time here today. Everything looks gorgeous. Oh, it used to be here. It's kind of so close and so nearby. It's kind of nice, guys. It's like 7 a.m. Maybe they will just go to the bar area to get some food, just get some nice breakfast. They don't really need to eat every day at this like kind of Airbnb situation, so that is okay. So why don't you travel with Caleb to the bar area to get some nice breakfast? Yay! We are back, and he's also still wearing his swimwear. I mean. Probably is kind of cold, Lenny. You should maybe just change your outfit really nicely and then we should order some food. Let's get some bunuelos. Let's order from the secret menu. Let's get some feijota. No idea what that is. But he already ate. What did you eat? Oh, he's not even full yet. Well, there's a grand breakfast. That sounds disgusting, honey. Let's order some more food, I guess. Let's get some other stuff because you're clearly still hungry and we don't want that. They're just hanging out. Did you eat your food? I think you did not eat your food yet. Let's... Can't eat that. It's overwhelmed with the local cuisine. That sounds so funny. Okay, let's pack this into our lunch. 
He's not into the local cuisine and his overwhelming flavor. Yeah, I feel like it's too like spicy for him. That's like kind of sad, but it's okay. You know what? You could just breeze through homework. Meanwhile, your mother is excavating stuff. That sounds like a great idea as well. He's like chilling over there, he's, like doing his homework. Like a king. Good job. We have the pack of lunch. Let's put this in our inventory. And mom done excavating. She's just doing her push-ups and stuff. You kind of don't need anything. And today is Sunday. You know what you can do? You can help your lovely son with his homework in Salvadorada. He's like, oh yeah. Good job, baby. Good job. All right, you guys. Ooh, there's a festival of youth. That sounds great, actually. Homework complete. Put this in your inventory. Thank you so much. And let's just end our vacation and just go home. You don't need to be here. It's like kind of rainy and miserable. So let's just go home. Yeah, let's just go home. And look at all the stuff that we brought from Salvadorada. Yay, we are back and it's also raining over here. This kind of sucks. So you are wet. Yeah, I can relate to that. So let's just take a shower and put this in there. We also found some fish. We can just sell them because that sounds like a great idea to be honest. So we have all this stuff, but we also don't need them anymore because I don't think we will go back to Salvadorada. But it was like really nice. I feel like we discovered everything over there. So that sounds like a good plan of action. So after that, you should also like clean this up. That is disgusting. You are kind of hungry. So why don't you... You know what? Let's order a pizza delivery. You wanted a pizza delivery? Let's order one. Let's get some pepperoni pizza. That sounds delicious. And mom is doing great. She wants to leave a note for someone. You can just do that. Let's write note for Caleb. And you are doing great. So why don't you authenticate this little artifact. And we can activate these. It's kind of like weird. Activate these on people. I don't know what it does. But it does something for sure, I guess. You know what you can do? You can just like open the these packs. It's like, yeah, that pizza is for me. Thank you so much. My mom will pay you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Somebody's calling my mom. Quick question. Benjamin Navarro and I were playing some... Spend some casual friend time. Sure, go for it. Great idea. Let's take some slice and I think we opened it all. So what we have is some basil, great. Some crocus, never heard of it, sounds great. We have 15 roses, that is amazing. We have begonias, we have tulips, we have lemons, we of course have our pomegranate. We have grapes, we have green pea, onion, carrots and green beans, that's great. Okay, this is a genuine. Yeah, okay, we have a terracotta one, so we don't really need that. So why don't we put all these in here to sell for next time. You can also sell the green beans and the avocado. We don't need it. We also have some fossils. Let's extract all, oops, extract all these fossils. So there's a llama toe that's horrible. Raptor claw, that sounds great. And we have two fossilized sea monster. That is, that sounds perfect as well. So girl, why don't you use the bathroom real quickly and then let's put this pizza in there. And maybe we can just like stock the table just to sell some stuff. Tend the table as well. And let's start some yard sale. Meanwhile, he's doing his hopscotch. He's like, oh yeah, I am so good at this, look at him, he's so grown up, my boy. Yay, come on, it's two, good job, good job, Caleb. <laughs> he's so cute. Is anybody coming? 
Oh yeah, he's coming. Katerina links is here, Katerina. Let's buy some stuff, honey. And we also have Noiki Ito. Come on, people. Let's buy everything. I Caleb and Letty, I'm sorry to let you know that your family member Carolina Lopo has passed away. <gasps> Carolina is dead. Oh my god. Oh, Anne is also freezing to death, I feel like. Why is Anne looking like that? Anne, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? I hope Anne doesn't die because that would be a weird, weird way to go. Come on, guys, please buy some stuff. I don't think anybody bought anything, which is kind of rude. How is my son? Oh, my son is so. Stop crying, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, my poor boys are crying and playing at the same time. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry. I don't think you even like. You met her. I don't think so. You never seen Carolina. I mean, probably me. My mom is like doing push-ups. Like, yeah, my half sister died, but you know what? It's okay. I think we sold one relic. Yeah, the rest is not doing very well. We still have these two stuff. We have so much stuff, guys, to sell. That's kind of in, in unbelievable. Extra credit complete. I didn't even tell him to do that. He is a great kid, for sure. Let's stop the table one more time, just to put out the last two items in here. And mom, what are you doing? Get some water. Yeah, you can get some water. I hope they sell real quickly as well. Start the yard sale, just like grind and sell these last two items because we kind of need to do that to make some money. Yay, and it's the skull is sold and last thing is the fossilized sea monster and that is sold as well. That is great. Thank you so much guys. Thank you for buying my hard earned stuff. So let's just wash some hands and get some leftovers. We Our fun is full. Hey guys, good morning. So Caleb is awake and kind of upset because of Carolina. No, he's playful, that is good. I make him make some midnight crafts and stuff, but after that he kind of needs to open this up. Let's put this out as well in the trash and get some pizza for breakfast. That sounds like a great idea. And then let's do some brainchild learning and these must be the crafts that he made that is kind of cool this is like countdown to midnight kind of stuff and he needs to go to school in an hour that is also cool oh my god is that Vlad teaching how to count that is so weird oh my god that's so funny I never seen that before well Vlad thank you for nothing all right, the Caleb is going to school. Have fun at school, my love. Thank you so much for everything. I also hope he put the snacks here. I don't think he did. So, mom, why don't you just cook something real quickly? Because I don't think we have much food in our fridge. Let's make some steamed fish. That sounds like a great food idea. So we can do that. We have also like two relics undiscovered. Ooh, the steamed fish is steaming. That looks kind of great. That slaps. I wish we had some steamed fish right now. So she is just working on some stuff. Maybe we can just like write another archaeology book because that sounds like a great idea. Write an, another archaeology book since we went to Salvadorada one more time. We can just sell these all guys. We can Faraday Fizz, yeah. Artifact Artifiction. That's a good title, yeah. We should go for it. We have Obtainium and stuff. Let's sell this for 1700. Heck yeah. We can also sell the Bone Dust. That sounds horrible. So we have left is like all these crystals and stuff. I don't think I will sell these because 
I planned the next generations, like generation 10. I didn't plan on like planning it till 10. But one of the generation will have the gemology skill, so I feel like we should just hang on to all of these stuff. So she or he can just build that. But meanwhile we can display it all if we can... Yeah, we can put this over here, that looks so gorgeous over there. Yeah, we can't really put anything anywhere. But it's okay, I also love that it's here, that look, kind of like matches the aesthetic of the bedroom, this little vase. So yeah, that is amazing. So today is Monday and as far as I remember, Wednesday is Caleb's birthday, which is like time flies. And then next Tuesday is her birthday and she'll become an elder, guys. <sighs> time literally flies. Yay, we wrote the second book, that is great for peeing, and then we should also sell to publisher the artifact slash artifiction, which is like an amazing title. And hopefully they sent us some stuff to authenticate because it would be nice if we have like more money than 10k, for sure, for sure. So Caleb is done with school, let's pause the video, let's pay. Let's sell this to publisher and then let's get the mail and you are very sad. Stop being sad, you don't even know Carolino, he's like a, such a sensitive boy, <laughs> my boy. Okay Caleb, you go watch the... I mean we should get some leftovers, like let's some, get some leftovers and then let's watch some brainchild learning stuff. We brought a school project that sounds amazing okay where can we even put this will that fit anywhere i doubt that we could just put it outside like over here kind of raining but it's okay so you can just eat your stuff and watch some tv as well mom is doing that oh we have some stuff to authenticate so mom can we just authenticate this stuff real, real quickly? Thank you to make some money. We have two, which is great. Mom is like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Lola, what? Benjamin and I had a blast. That is great. Good job. Humor and hygiene festival? Not today, honey. Let's mail back the artifacts and get that cash. And let's authenticate this artifact as well. While just calling, sure, we can chat. Let's just do our homework and then go to sleep real quickly and when he wakes up probably like 2 a.m. ish we can just like start doing our homework. Oh, not homework. Our project, school project. And this is genuine as well. Let's mail back the artifact and another almost 4k. I am crushing this. So she doesn't really need to do anything, maybe just like take some nice shower, that sounds like a great idea. And we have this two stuff, I don't know what it does when you activate on some people, like what happens? Let's activate this on ourselves. I don't know what- Ooh, That's cool. The relic's power is too depleted right now, but what does it do? Does it do something? Feeling focused, brought friends together, decorated. I don't think. Ooh, what's happening? Okay, that's. Matilda? Okay, let's wait a second. Matilda is afflicted with the curse of the arbitrary needs? No! So this is a bad thing. You shouldn't activate this on yourself. Do not do that. So her needs will be very low from now on. Well, no. Not good. Okay, he can wake up, doesn't need to sleep. I know that it is like kind of raining, but can, can you just go and order pizza? He just wants to order pizza non-stop. It's kind of vibe. Kind of cool, so you can just do that. Just, ah, uh, the rain stopped, that's great. So he's like... Oh yeah, let me just do my homework, my school project real quickly and she's mom's like, I'll just clean everything real quickly. 
you have a nice quality of a card tree and things are looking kind of what was that what was that you can just like go fishing that sounds like a good idea to spend on some time for stuff to just like not think about the curse Good. Unpleasant surroundings. What is unpleasant about the surroundings? Is something rotting? Oh, it's because our thing is broken. Well, it's fine. We can just like replace it real quickly. We can just also browse the plopsy, I think. Ooh, there's some medium painting. The painting looks nice as well. We can just like buy it and to see if it's actually good. There's some dress. There's some. Um... It looks like. <laughs> That's also funny. Let's buy these two to see if they're actually pretty. So there's this painting that looks kind of cool. I mean. Yeah, why not? Let's just put this in mom's bedroom because that's kind of a vibe. And we also bought some... Oh, we have to... Create a wall mounted copy real quickly. We found some fish. Let's just sell these real quickly. The daisy? Daisy can stay. I feel like we can give daisy to... Our son. We can also talk about the best color ever. We can give some family kiss. They're like hanging out. She really needs to eat. That is great. Criticize lack of creativity glow. How dare you do not do that. Let's kiss his cheeks. And then get some leftovers. It also sounds like a great idea. Unpleasant surroundings. You are the unpleasant surroundings. There's nothing unpleasant around about your surroundings. Well, they have a negative relationship. Maybe she's like, oh, he's sick. That is not very good. It feel like all the time that he was like doing everything outside kind of backfired on him. But it's okay. We can just like give him some medicine. I can't take the medicine. Why is that? Add to your favorite? Sure. I don't know why he can't take the medicine. Put away, put in inventory. Why I can't take the medicine? Cheer to death. Cheerness can often be contagious, but sometimes it can also be painfully grating. Oh my god. Okay, let's work completely. Why don't you go to school? Yeah, you kind of need to go to school. I don't know why you don't do that. He lives off to school. Yeah, honey, you should go to school. Okay, mom is doing kind of okay. Let's replace that and use the bathroom quickly. Maybe like mop the floor as well. Yay! Grades are up! My son is also has arrived. He's looking energized, looking kind of fine. So, alright guys, I think I will leave this part right here. So in the next episode, we're gonna age up our sweet baby angel Caleb and he's gonna be a teenager and hopefully we can start his like skills area. He's gonna be a gardener and I don't think he will just go through like kind of like a farm situation not sure we can just either focus on just like flower arranging and stuff and doing the farming at the background we can just solely focus on flower arranging and not do any gardening or i mean by gardening i mean farming it's not like have some producer or something just like flowers or he can do like both so like we can have some cows and stuff so yeah i think we still had time to figure it out, but let me know in the comments in on which direction he should go. And being said that, I'll see you next Saturday. Bye bye!